Hi, it's Mike with Itty Bitty Microfirms. In this video, we're gonna show you how to grow the perfect wheatgrass with no mold. Let's get into it. We're gonna do our wheatgrass today, and we do a hard winter wheat. So we're gonna go through all the processes, what we do, and how we market it, and everything else. We got our wheatgrass here that's been soaking for 12 hours. And then well, once that is done, we just drain it. I just use a bowl here with a strainer in it to get the water down at the bottom. And then we just strain it into that. It's okay if you're gonna leave a little moisture in there. It's kind of good. We let it set for a couple hours, dry it up a little bit. You can even go up to 12 hours on drying it out if you'd like to, and it starts sprouting, which is just fine to do. So don't think you need to plant it right away or anything. So we usually do this first thing in the morning, soak it overnight for 12 hours. Do this first thing in the morning, get it out, plant everything else, let it dry out a little bit, and then we go from there. All right, now that we got that done, I'm gonna take this over here and just let it set while we plant everything else, and then we'll get back uh, to planting uh, the wheatgrass. We do plant our wheatgrass in the five by five containers from True Leaf, and we market these as uh, pet grass slash wheatgrass. We have a few people that juice it and use it as wheatgrass, but mostly around here, it is uh, pet grass that most people get it for their pets to eat. So that's the way we market it, and we do sell these five by five containers for five dollars a piece. We'll be back to show you how we seed them. All right, the wheatgrass is ready to be sown. It's been sitting here for a few hours. We unsoak it to begin with. And then we start planting everything else. When we're done planting everything else, we plant some wheatgrass last, get it a little less wet so it's easier to sow. Trays are filled. You pack up the five by fives completely full, and then we're gonna mist them first. So we change this over to mist and get the soil to settle down a little bit, and then we're gonna soak it down really good because there's a lot of soil in there, so we make sure there's a good amount of water in here. So just go ahead and light mist over top. Get back to the shower and give it a good watering. With this, you almost want to see them puddling a little bit. Well, you know, it's soaked in. Good. Time to sow the seeds. We do eight ounces per flat, so one ounce per five by five. So we have two here, so we soaked this at 16 ounces. And we found out that a little souffle cup, about like that, fills up one. Spread all that over there and do the same to the rest. So we'll get this all seated out and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so we have all that uh, seated spread out. I got this last one here to show you and you're just gonna pat it out, spread it out through the whole tray, kind of pat it down a little bit as you go along. If you want the seeds Touching, but not on top of each other as much as possible. That is pretty good there. All looking good. All right, so now we're gonna water on the top again, and then we're gonna do some zero tall, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, again, just a really good watering on these. I'm gonna give a good watering on these wheat grasses. Uh, they can take it, and there's a lot of soil in here anyway. So after the good watering, we want to go ahead and uh, use zero tall here, and it just helps prevent some of the mold issues that wheatgrass is prone to doing. Because we grow in the same rooms that we grow everything else in, and wheatgrass really would like it more of a 72, and we're a 72 to 76 degrees in ours, so we just use this as an extra preventative method. Help here. So just back and forth, getting nice coating. Just to help prevent some of the mold issues and you might have to spray one or two more times throughout the growth cycle and we'll go over that as we go through the growth cycle with the, the wheatgrass so okay we're here to put the wheatgrass over in germination now and we just stack it no more than three high as tall as we stack our wheatgrass is because they're in the five by five stick soil everything else you don't want to stack these ones six high these ones go no more than three high let's put the bootstrap tray on it there for weight Grab the 14 to 16 pound paver, brick, whatever you want to call it. Put that on top. We let that germinate for two days and then we'll get it underneath lights. All right, we got our uh, wheatgrass here. We got it out of germination. Uh, it's looking amazing. 
Uh, there is no mold issues here. Uh, follow this method and we've had zero mold issues coming out of germination uh, and that's usually where you're gonna get your mold growth. And this stuff is really sturdy. It's like pokey when you tuck it in right now, so it's very good. Uh, and we just get it straight out of germination and we put it on the shelf and we water it right here on the shelf. Uh, so I uh, use shower mode on the sprayer. Um, I highly recommend not bothering mortar at first when they come out of germination. You just want to knock some root hairs down and everything else. Uh, so if you don't have a sprayer, get one. It's going to work out much better for you for the wheatgrass. So here we go. We're just going to water it and water it in really good. Wheatgrass needs a lot of water at the beginning and then it goes light after that. So that is wheatgrass coming out of germination. And now we'll go to see what it looks like at the end. All right, just to reiterate some stuff, uh, wheatgrass, uh, we germinate it for two days. Then we take it out and water it. We go at seven days and it's ready to go. From the time of planting to the time it's ready to sell is seven days. So this is what it looks like at day seven, right here. Beautiful grow. It can actually grow a little bit taller. But this is where we want to sell it so the customer has time to let it grow a little bit if they want. And uh, yeah, so this is good to go. We sell it in the five by fives. We do spray this one more time with zero tall just to hit any spots if there's any any mold issues or anything like that in it, but we typically don't get any. These are all looking really good. Uh, so we probably won't have to spray any of these. So yeah, these are ready to sell. Seven days with wheatgrass is all you need. It grows fast and it's good to go. Thanks for watching. Remember to uh, hit like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It really helps our channel grow. Yeah, and make a comment down below if you grow wheatgrass or what recipes you like to use with wheatgrass. How do you use it? Most people around here use it for catgrass. So again, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.